and welcome back to Intentful Spaces. Today's video is all about deep cleaning the master bathroom. I just did a little room refresh and I shared that video with you all already where I painted the bedroom and the bathroom and made a few changes in the bedroom, but now I had been putting off cleaning the bathroom until the painting was all done. And once it started to get bad, it got really bad really fast. So giving you lots of little close-up shots to show you exactly how dirty the bathroom is before I get started. And I will be bringing out the big guns in this video with lots of bleach and disinfectant. So I am going to be just sharing with you how I deep clean my master bathroom. This is a once a month thing that I do where I pull everything out of the shower and bring out the bleach and make sure that everything gets scrubbed very, very well so that we don't end up with any kind of buildups or stains or damage happening in the shower. And I just always use the Target brand cleaner with bleach. I feel like this does just as good of a job as any other bathroom cleaner of any brand. So I am just going to spray down the tile really well, making sure the grout gets a good coating of it. And in the base of the shower, I will be using Ajax, but I'm going to let that bleach sit for a little bit before I start scrubbing. So while that sits, I'm going to go ahead and empty the trash and clean up the toilet. And every week when I clean the toilets, I use sanitizing wipes as well as Ajax to clean the bowl. And I like using Ajax the best. I feel like it does such a good job. For one, it's cheap. And also, it's got a bit of an abrasiveness to it. So it does a very good job at scrubbing it clean. And it contains bleach. So it also disinfects and keeps the toilet white and stain free. And now that I got that all wiped down and scrubbed out, I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hands real quick and then head on over to the shower to finish working on that. I am wearing gloves this time because I'm working with bleach and I went ahead and grabbed a tank top to cover my face because I'm in a confined space and there's bleach sprayed all in here I wanted to go ahead and just not be breathing all that in so I do have the exhaust fan running in the bathroom and the bedroom window wide open but it was very strong because I sprayed so much on here to bleach the grout so I just wanted to keep my face covered while I was in there if you've been with me for a while, then you know I typically clean with very natural products, but about once a month, I like to hit the bathrooms up with some bleach just to make sure that there's no buildups of any kind of staining happening. If you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Melissa. I am so glad you found me, and I make lots of cleaning motivation as well as decluttering and organizing and a bit of decor. So if you are into that sort of content, please do make sure and be subscribed to my channel before you go so I can keep all that motivation coming for you. Now throwing down some Ajax in the base of the shower and for those same reasons I like using Ajax in the shower it's slightly abrasive and it's got that bleaching power and you'll see when I add water it starts to turn very blue and blue actually has a whitening effect so as I'm cleaning the grout it's actually bleaching it but also adding that bit of a blue tint that makes the white pop a lot more and that is why they add blue stuff to a lot of laundry products and people used to add blue dye to their whites in their laundry because blue really really makes whites pop so I've been having to use Comet because Target stopped carrying Ajax at my Target anyways and I couldn't find it anywhere so I've been using Comet and it just does not have that same effect even though it's the same abrasiveness it still contains bleach it's just not blue it's green instead and it did not make the grout look nearly as clean. So I did find some Ajax at Home Depot and stocked up a bit on it. So I'm very happy to be able to use that in the bathroom again. 
Now I'm going to leave that sitting in the shower for a little while to really bleach out that grout. And now I'm heading over to the tub and using that same cleaner with bleach to spray in here. And I'm going to make sure and rinse it out extremely well when I am done. Keep in mind whenever you're using cleaners on your tub and then you fill it with water and you're soaking in it, a lot of that residue stays on the tub and then is therefore in your bath water. So it's very, very important to make sure you rinse out any kind of cleaner very, very well out of your bathtub. And that is one of the reasons why I prefer to use natural products whenever I am cleaning the tub and I only come in here and bleach it every couple of months just to make sure that no staining is happening. So this rinsing part went on for quite a while and I cut a whole bunch of it out because it's not nearly as satisfying to watch as this part. So now I'm going to use the shower wand to spray the base of the shower and rinse away all the Ajax. And now the shower is all clean and looking like new again. And I'm going to go ahead and start putting all of the items back in the shower. Because I was so anxious to get all this stuff cleared off the counter, I totally forgot to even clean the glass of the shower. So I will be doing that here in a moment. Because I only clean with bleach periodically, I like to let it sit for a while so that it can really work on the stains. And also, anytime you're using disinfectants, they do need to sit for a while because they're only disinfecting when they stay wet for a certain amount of time. So they all have a bit of a different time. Some like five seconds, some are like 30 seconds, but you do need to leave that surface wet with the product for that long in order for it to even be disinfecting. So while I'm letting the sinks and counter bleach, I am going to go ahead and do the glass. To do this, I just sprayed a good amount of the Blue Land glass cleaner on here because we do have hard water buildup. So I wanted to let that kind of break that down a little bit. And then I'm wiping it clean with my E cloth polishing cloth. And cleaning the glass is something I don't skip. This is something I do every single week because we do have such hard water and it builds up so quickly on the glass. I just like to give it at least a quick wipe down with my polishing cloth once a week when I do like a bathroom touch up clean.
Whenever I do the glass, I just use that polishing cloth to wipe down the fixtures real quick. Again, just trying to keep up on that hard water buildup. And I don't normally do anything with that top rainfall shower head because it's not getting water on it all the time. So it doesn't typically get any kind of buildup. But I went to give it a quick wipe and realized that it needed to be dusted on the top. So while I was up there, I don't know if you guys remember a while back, I shared a video where we had a bathtub filled with lots of little gnats that had somehow worked their way maybe up the drain or something. And they all died immediately right there in the tub but a few of them had stuck to the ceiling up here so I wanted to go ahead and get that wiped off while I was doing this bathroom deep clean because I do not want dead bugs on my ceiling so I went ahead and dusted the top of that rainfall shower head and it was very very dirty so I don't know if you guys have checked the top of your shower heads at all but even the regular one it gets so much dust on the back of it and it's something that's so easily overlooked when cleaning While I was looking around to see if there was another gnat or two I needed to wipe off the ceiling, I noticed how dirty the vent was. So I went ahead and grabbed a stool and wiped this down real quick. And I popped it open while I was doing this because the vent was shut and then remembered that we had shut it when they were doing the construction in the bathroom. So all kinds of dirt just poured out of it as soon as I opened the vent. I am so glad I had not scrubbed the counters yet because they got covered with dirt. And as you see here, I had to rinse the shower out again because of all the dirt that was coming off of that shower head. So here is a peek at some of the stuff that fell out of the vent and I had been bleaching the counters and sinks so now I'm going to go ahead and just wipe up this dirt and also scrub down the counters and the sinks right now too. When I was spraying the vanity with the bleach, I realized how dirty the cabinets were looking. So I went ahead and sprayed those as well. So now I'm just gonna wipe these off real quick.
the sponge was getting pretty worn out and chunks of it were starting to come off so I went ahead and used it to wipe up the remaining stuff on the floor and kind of give you a little peek at what came out of the vent all over the floor there so just going to throw this sponge away because it was time for a new one so now I am spraying our toothbrush holders with that bleach cleaner going to let that sit for a little while while it breaks up some of that buildup in there and also disinfects those and going to wipe out the little cups that we keep the cotton swabs and cotton balls in and then do a little decluttering of all these toothbrushes. The little kids do still share a bathroom with us, so they have built up quite a collection of toothbrushes. So I'm going to go ahead and decide which ones to keep and which ones to let go of. Using the same Better Life glass cleaner that I just did the mirrors with, I am spraying the toothbrush holders so that I can get those wiped out and just get any remaining buildup out of there. And I'm using my eCloth kitchen scrubber microfiber towel because it's got this like abrasive little corner that does a really good job at getting down there and scrubbing out all that like toothpaste buildup in the bottom of the cup. <music> Now that they're all cleaned out, giving them a quick rinse and then just deciding what stuff to put back in there and then wrapping it up for this part before I do the floors. And mopping the floors in the bathroom is another thing I only do about once a month when I'm doing a deep bathroom clean and I am using my e-cloth mop. I have a big one downstairs that I use for the main level and then I just have this little one for up here for the bathrooms and laundry room. So just wet the pad and wiping the floors down and that is it for this bathroom deep clean video. Hope you got all the motivation you need to get up and clean your own bathroom and lots of spring cleaning videos will be coming up now so be sure you are subscribed and keep a lookout for that for all that spring cleaning motivation and if you are new to my channel please do be subscribed before you go and remember you can always come find me over on instagram at intentful spaces give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed leave me some kind of bathroom related emoji such as a bathtub or a shower head or something like that in the comments down below if you have made it all the way here to the end and as always thank you all so much for being here.